Okay, what's up guys? So for this day, we will tackle puluhan ng punyo. Hey guys, so this is Guru Gani of Rapid Relismo Kaling Pagilin Training Group. For this day, uh, we will tackle Rapid Relismo uh, way of using the puluhan. So I think this is almost common to any Filipino martial arts. But before that, please try to subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell so you will be notified of the new uploads uh, in the coming days. So, for, uh, so let's go to the video. So most of, most of the time, uh, uh, you need to find how to use uh, puluhan. So it's not just learning how to use it. For example, it's not just executing it here. You need to find way of using it and find the exact range. For example, if, if, I, if I'm in this range or middle range or what we call the puluhan, so I pungso to pungso, definitely you're not in the perfect range to execute this. If you're in long range, well definitely not. So most of the time, uh, this is no-brainer. Most of the time you use it in this range, which is close quarter or what we call it madapita. Okay, so the basic drills of how to use this is mostly the common common is the high and low, high and low. High and low, high and low. So high, low, high and low. So this is in some system they call it uh, corvos or apatasulok. In Filipino, uh, in Rapidismo probably we also call it uh, four corners or apatasulok. Okay. So this is the common. And then from here, you will try to enter so this is how some one way of executing it. Entry. One, two, four, one, two. Pull it again. One, two, three, and four. Then. Okay. So there's a lot of way to execute puluhan. So why do I like it uh, whenever I, oh, oh, I'm always telling my guys, telling all my all person, the moment you enter, enter in this range, try to hit as much as possible. So there's different way to execute and different way to to add uh, from it. For example, if I'm here, I was able to this execution. I was able to control his arm, and I'm in the range. I will definitely gonna crush him using pullback instead of just doing this. Well, there's there is a way that I can pull his arm so I can execute this, but the, the problem with that is I still have a space that we can he can block. He can tap my hand. But if you're really good at pulling this, then better. But if not, then rather try to hit him with this. There's a lot of way, okay? So there's a lot of way of executing this. For example, I can execute it a drop strike. I can execute it like an X. I can execute it in, in rapidalismo we call it patatad. Okay, or this. Similar to this movement, which is patatad. This, this, this. I can execute it as a punch. Okay, so for example, if I'm here, block. A punch, then it's great. Okay, so from an entry position, I can execute this. So one entry, execute and grab it. So there's also a way of scraping it. From here, try to switch it, scrape, scrape his face, scrape anything that you think uh, that will cause uh, pain to your uh, opponent. Okay, or. You can really snap this one. Use this. In the reason we grip most of the time, really back there, no bad end. But if you are uh, trying to use this puluhan or punyo, then rather try to have at least an inch. This is enough uh, for you to be able to destroy whatever closest to you or his face. For example, this one is really painful. I can stack him here. Or if I'm here, I can really push his uh, muscle to, to create some a, a bit of pain. So for you to be able to create a, create an opening, for example, here he tapped me. Tap it now. 
one and he needs to shoot a punch here in his arm instead of focusing on this which is this is also creating an opening okay so what i want is one two tap this so control this instead of focusing on this which is sometimes really hard that's the truth the truth is one this is really hard to execute this unless you are trained but in sparring mode it's not i don't know so but most of the time i rather drop it create a pain in his arm then just try to switch this one okay so example one then try to create a punch from this then finish him with this one okay for example I Thank you to our sponsor with this one. So, for example, he punched one, two, from here. So, one snap from here, then this one will create this. Okay, we'll create an opening. One, two. So, that's, that's the reason why I like most of the time to, how to use this. For example, we're in a grappling position as well. No? So, one, two, then I'll try to grapple him, and he try to grapple. Yeah. One. So I'm, I'm here in this position. So I'll try to create this and hit him here. So uh, using this is uh, using one is really painful when you know how to use it. So for example, like I said, uh, I'm not saying this is right or wrong, but try, I will, will we try to prevent mostly using this. But if you if you know how to use it, this will create pains. This. This will create pains. Pushing this, pushing this, and uh, as lost as this one is, I touches, I uh, touches any muscles or structures. For example, if I'm here, one here, I'm grappling. Then I'm using this to create a pain. Then look at this resistance. Right? So, but like I said, you can strike. But just in case this is too uh, resisting a lot, then you can use this a bit of pain so you can control him and start him or if I'm here like I said he pulled this off then I'd rather drop this and hit him drop this and hit him with this or from here try to push this one so push this head then from here I can punch with this okay so again from basic drills of four walls the common this is like I said this is a, a, a either a piping drills if you can pull it but this for me is just a drills of learning how to enter this and execute pull one for example if he's striking here so one two I'm here and I can execute this batch bed or if I'm here one two three one three four or one, two, one, two. Hit him with this while controlling this one. Most of the time when you do that, uh, my, my, my son is not actually been into FMP for so long, so he's just new. So he doesn't know uh, much of the counter, -react, counter reaction. But just in case somebody is tapping you here, then you can use this Kuluhan to trap your uh, to trap his arm and create a pain. And from this, this situation, I can use an elbow or punch with punch it remember this one when it touches the face you create a pain okay while i'm controlling his arm okay so i can pull him with this or i'll create a pain using this pull one from here then using an elbow or i can even try to take him down but like i said from here position <laughs> The moment I know that I can enter, enter. Okay, so that's the common drills most of the time in Philippine martial arts. But in rapido lose we mostly employ cuatro cantos of different things. For example, one he hits me. One this is my cuatro cantos. Two again one two slow down. Two three four. And just in case he keep it up, I'm here execute it like this or from one from one to three and he hits me 
So I'm gonna hit, execute that punch here. Most of the time, I'm gonna punch. Because I'm, I, uh, it's not really a repertoire to, to enter the range and use this. What we, uh, what we want is mostly being in a proper space to really hit our, our opponent or in case we don't have a choice and he close in not love it huh? yeah. he close in then that's the moment they will try to employ this one then I can execute this one or if it really tap this I can draw my attack here okay draw my attack here then dip this to hit this base okay while I'm controlling this, while I'm controlling, so I can bump his shoulder and tap this with this one. Then from here, I can tap this and control and hit him. So that's mostly, mostly how we use it. For example, if he taps this one, two, three, and from here, I'm gonna execute it like this. That now, one, drop it from here, execute it like this using a pain using a pain here for example look so you're using a drop strike from here and then from that drop strike try to grind it try to grind it like this will create this okay but like i said this is purely demonstration we don't know if this will you can use this in, in, in most of what we call sparring, but you, you, sparring is a study spar. You're studying, so why not try it? No, don't be afraid to be beaten. Don't be afraid to be hit. So try to apply whatever you think is right. For example, there's no way of doing this just by doing this, this. So one, two, two, two. Try to really execute it well then from there progress from this one then now try to tap it one from here drop it from here pull this one then look how when i'm pulling tapping this no then i'm going back to monitor monitor his one because if he hits me here then i can really enter him enter the range and hit him with a butt. From here, I can execute a butt strike to his body. I can execute a butt strike here to control his, his body so he can, can control his range. So, for, uh, sorry about his reaction but because he's not used to pain. Uh, he's really new. So, the moment I put this in his body, he's really reacting. But, like I said, if people is used to pain you used to pull contact spine sometimes it won't work so what you need is not just you need to really grind it from here you need to really grind it you need to really push it to to create the reaction that you want for example if i'm here here i need to really grind it here then really grind his arm because if not then i can't create the uh, uh, the reaction that I want. What I want is really for him to pull up like that so I can hit him. Yes. Okay? So there is no right or wrong for me. Try to experiment and do it. So again, so this is, uh, I think, one way. Sorry uh, if uh, we were new in this uh, YouTube world. So if you think uh, uh, you like the video, so please share it and subscribe to the channel. Uh, and if you wanted to know more about the Rapid Rismo Kali, uh, you can find the information below in the description and comment, uh, comment down so we, can, we will know what do you want to see and uh, any improvement that you need to, uh, to implement uh, over for this. Any advice for us to, to be able to go good, uh, good and teaching in this uh, YouTube world. Okay, thank you.